So hi guys, I've been having a strange problem that's been driving me nuts. I've been trying to change my marquee tool here in my global settings to my gain tool. So I change it and there it's done. The other issue I've been having is in my settings over here, I would change, let's say I wanted to have my time signature also showing in my global settings here. Okay, so that's that. So I've changed my marquee tool setting here to my gain tool because I'd like to be able to, for instance, change the gain here on my recording. So I changed this to the gain control and I've changed this over here, adding this signature to it. I'm going to quit Logic Pro and save and then I'm going to restart Logic Pro from the save thing and you'll see that this has gone back to my marquee tool. It's no longer on the gain tool, which I had. And over here, these settings, my signature is gone. This was driving me absolutely berserk. Why isn't this working? And then I had a realization. Something that I haven't used in a long time is the screen sets in Logic Pro. Now, you'll notice up here that in my screen sets that it is locked. So unlock the screen sets. The screen sets are right up here. The screen sets are unlocked now, and I'll go back over here. I will change to my gain tool, and over here I will add the signature again. Quit Logic Pro, save. Restart Logic Pro again. And now we go up to C. Look at that. My gain tool is there. And over here, my signature is showing. This was driving me absolutely crazy. I couldn't figure out why it wasn't saving. And I thought, well, I mean, is this, is this some kind of feature that I didn't know about? But of course, it was a feature that I used to use, but I don't really use anymore because of the way I run my logic, which is to always have the mixer showing. This mixer setup that I have is a template and it always stays exactly the same. So I started out with my canned drums and my real drums, bass, guitar, vocals, piano, synths, and so on, right? And then I have all my buses here, which are always the same. Then I have my reverbs and effects right here, which are always the same as well. Then I have this little section here. If I wanted to try and do a browserize thing, I use that right from here. Then at the end, I also have my VCAs. I have my eight VCAs, which are showing in Logic here and also on my UF8. Using the VCAs, it allows me to bring the volumes up and down, but it doesn't affect the amount of reverb, for instance, in the signal as it's being raised and lowered. I finally figured it out. I hope this helps you in some way because it was driving me absolutely nuts. My new single Foolish is out. And it's my interpretation of what an instrumental song by Miles Davis and Prince would sound like. It's on all the streaming platforms. Go have a listen to it. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, we'll see you again next week. Oh, <laughs>